Fight against substance abuse into the digital age. That's the goal of one Connecticut educator. News 8's Tina Detail spoke with a woman who's trying to make the road to recovery as close as your smartphone. Do you need help fighting a substance abuse problem or want information on how to prevent it? Well, the folks here hope there will soon be an app for that. Substance abuse resources, detox, this is out of Hartford Healthcare. Angela Duhame is a community educator with CIRAC, the Southeastern Regional Action Council. We are a nonprofit. Um, we cover the 20 towns in southeastern Connecticut. She's looking for input from those communities and local organizations to develop an app to help tackle what many consider a heroin epidemic. We're finding 60 and 70 and 80 year olds that are being hooked on this. The app would have three basic tabs. I'm thinking like prevention, intervention, and treatment. And would combine resources for substance abuse and mental health services. So that way you can see some of the risk and warning signs. They overlap so much. CIRAC now spends between five and $10,000 a year on printing paper guides, which aren't always up to date. And that's very frustrating for people. Mm -hmm. You give them a resource guide and they start going through the list and they're calling programs that are shut down. Even with the app, it may be hard to have up to the minute updates on bed availability at treatment centers. Still, Duhame is hoping someone who is technologically savvy can help her develop a very advanced app. We're definitely looking for someone that has more knowledge, but also understands too that we're a community nonprofit. Here's a closer look at one of the resource guides. Now we're told one of the benefits of an app is that it can be more easily updated. In Norwich, Tina Detell, News 8.